welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Corin, also known as the Kitten Choreographer. My pronouns are he, they, and I'm a teen with a passion for animal rescue and, in particular, kitten rescue. In today's video, I'm going to be doing two things. I'm going to be showing you the absolute necessities for kitten rescue in terms of supplies, and then I'm also going to be packing for my kittens to go on a little vacation. I am going on vacation, and so I can't take my bottle babies with me, so they are going to another rescuer in the area, another foster parent with the same rescue I work with, and I'm not sure exactly how much supplies she has, so I'm just going to take everything you need. So I'm just going to be showing you the necessities for things you need in terms of kitten rescue. So let's get to packing, and while I do that, I'll show you the essentials for kitten rescue supplies. I have a bag. This bag, not essential, but I do need something to put stuff in, so I'm going to do that. These are in no particular order, um, because it's just whatever I'm remembering to grab. However, all of these supplies will be linked in the description below if you want to purchase any of them. Thank you if you do, because those are affiliate links and do support me, so no pressure though, you do not have to use them. First, I have a scale. This is just a kitchen scale. It is what I use to keep track of my kitten's weights. That is very important because you need to make sure they're gaining weight. Then I have these two containers that I've been weighing them in. I'm just gonna add those in there so it's easy for her to weigh them with what they've already been using. I also have the two notebooks I've been keeping track of their weights in. In case she wants to know how much they already weigh, I'm just gonna throw these in there as well. And while you do need the kitchen scale and the weights, the notebooks are not essential. You can just keep track anywhere really, on a whiteboard, on your phone, whatever you have. Syringes are essential for kittens that are too young to use the bottle, so I'm going to throw some 5 milliliter syringes in there, and I've also thrown a few 3 milliliter syringes in there in case she runs out of the 5 milliliter ones. I have baby wipes to use to just help clean up the kittens after they eat. Then I have miracle nipples to use on the syringes. I also have bottles for Jude and Cardin because they're older and they're not on a syringe. Bingo is the only one on a syringe. Then I have their actual formula. I use Fox Valley Kitten Formula and also Fox Valley Ultra Boost. Ultra Boost, it's Ultra Boost, which is basically kitten formula that you can mix in with a regular formula, about half and half, so um, kittens that are having trouble gaining weight can gain weight, and that's what Bingo's on. My bag is fuller than anticipated, so I'm gonna go find another bag. Some other supplies I always keep on hand are tissues and paper towels, and of course my microwave and my fridge, but she, I'm sure, already has that at home, so I'm not going to be bringing a whole fridge and microwave with me, obviously. I would also say for medical purposes, one milliliter syringes are really good to have on hand, but my kittens aren't taking any medicine right now, so I'm not going to send any of those. Another thing is blankets, which I'm sure she already has because she's a kitten foster, but I am going to bring my incubator behind me and the two tubs I'm keeping Jude and Cardin in. If you're a new kitten foster, you're probably not going to have an incubator, but you will need to have some tubs to put the kittens in. I'm just going to quickly show you my tub setup, and you will also need pet heating pads to go in there. Not human heating pads, because those get too hot for kittens, but pet heating pads. I will, again, link those in the description below if you're unsure of exactly what to get. But these are the tubs that Jude and Cardin are in. They are in separate tubs because they are butt suckers, otherwise they would be in the same tub. And you can see the cord to my heat pad, I have the blankets in there, and I think that's it. I'm actually also going to take these, which is their formula that's already mixed up. I just have to keep it refrigerated until right before we leave. And that's just so this formula doesn't go to waste and so that she has blender bottles to mix up their formula in. This is really helpful for transporting kittens. It's a microwavable heat pad, a snuggle safe, I think it's called. Yes, that's what it's called. It says it on the back. And I'm just going to heat this up and put it in their cat carrier so that they don't get cold on the journey. Because if you didn't know, kittens can't regulate their own body temperature this young. So they need an outside heat source. Am I not in focus? That's so annoying. Sorry if I wasn't in focus there. But I'm going to go ahead and heat this up. And of course, you'll also need cat carriers for them. I have just a small one and a big one. I would use two small ones, but I only have one small one. So I'm gonna, hopefully Jude and Cardin will butt suck on their journey over. I have a third big carrier, but I don't want to put three carriers in the car, along with an incubator and two tubs. So hopefully they'll be okay on the journey over not butt sucking. And while that microwave's going, I'll go ahead and tell you that is all of the very essential supplies you'll need. There are other things that are very helpful, but that is all of the like 100% necessary supplies. Also, sorry for the microwave in the background, I would wait until it's gone, but I'm kind of on a time crunch since I kind of waited until the last minute to pack this. So, whoops. But that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe for more kitten-related content. I upload on Sundays and on Wednesdays if I can, and if I can't, then I upload whenever I'm able to. 
Also, please make sure to leave any thoughts or questions that you have down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching again, and goodbye!